Can you hear me now? Did you guys hear anything that I said? <laughs> Let's see if it fixes. That's never happened before. Let's see if it catches up. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, did it fix it? I muted myself. Weird, I've, I don't know about that. I can hear it, okay, I can hear it now. Yes, okay, good, you can hear it. You, got, you know, that's never happened. I didn't even know that was an option. How strange. Well, I'm glad that you guys told me before I got too far. <laughs> okay, let me go back and show you. This cute tea towel is from Roxanne. In case you didn't hear me, it's super cute, Roxanne. Thank you. With my little taco fiesta on it. This is from Christy, you guys. Christy, please tell us where you got the little avocado sequins. Very cute. They're tiny. I almost thought maybe she drew them, but... I think they're too tiny for that. Very cute. Um, let's see. She also sent me some socks. I've got a nice little collection of taco socks now. And this is super cute. I don't know where this came from. But it's very cute. An avocado lip balm. Cotton candy flavor. Yum. Thank you, Christy. Um, let's see. What else do I have here? i got a couple of beautiful cards. This one is from Donna. Um, can't remember what that stamp set was called, but gorgeous. Very, very pretty colors. That looks like our new, or the, mm, no, that's a retired color. Now I can't remember what it's called. You guys, full disclosure, I do not feel well today at all. I've got, I'm fighting something, and I didn't want to cancel because I know that we're not going to have Facebook Friday for a few weeks, but I'm going to push through it. My husband said when today that I needed to embrace the suck. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. I'm here. I don't feel good, but we're going to do this. So just be patient with me, please. Um, this adorable card is from Carla. Carla, this card is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Looks like she made the fence using the um, embossing folder that retired. I forget what it's called as well. It was like wood planks. Very cute. Oh, there's Christy. She says they are resin trinkets from scrapbook.com and the lip balm is from amazon of course all right guys i haven't shopped scrapbook.com in a long time i didn't even know they were still around very cute thank you i love it and then this little treasure look at this this is from michelle she is on my team she said her friend has a machine that cuts these shapes and then she painted it so I will be hanging this in my new studio for sure. It is so cute. She stamped some of my images around the side as well from my stamp set. Thank you so much, Michelle. That was really thoughtful. Write a sweet, she wrote a sweet message on the back too. All right, I am gonna flip you guys around. Um, I've got some things to show you. I've got a new um, Club Create kit to show you. So I'll just turn you guys around. And I want to remind you of some things. Let me get my camera set up. So we've got this designer series paper sale going on. Hopefully you guys knew that. Um, a lot of our designer series paper are on sale, 15% off. Um, I have linked them today at the bottom of my blog post, I believe. But you can go to the Stampin' Up! website and click, stamp, um, click the banner on the top though there's banners that go through and one of them will be the paper sale you can see the papers that are all on sale most of the designer series papers i noticed that the uh color stacks are not so like the brights the subtles the neutrals those are not on sale but um most of the other ones are so check it out starter kit special is all month of all the whole month of june um it's 99 dollars as usual but now you get 155 dollars in product of your choice and free shipping. So, you know, the starter kit is always an amazing deal. Um, and then you get a discount, your discount or your uh, instant income that we call it when you um, are a demonstrator. Plus you'll be on, on my team and get my PDFs for free, uh, my class kits at a discount, you get to be a part of our team. So make sure you check this out. If you've been thinking about it, it's a great time. Um, Stampin' Up! doesn't 
um, change the starter kit deal very often, only a couple of times a year. So this is a really good one and I would encourage you to, to jump on it if you've been thinking about it. Um, these online exclusives I want to tell you about, they are not available until July 5th. Um, but the reason I'm telling you about them now is because if you do get a starter kit, these are some of the online exclusive products that demonstrators can pre-order, which means you can buy them, you can get them in your um, starter kit in June if you decide to. So I actually put my order in. Um, one of the perks of being a demonstrator is you get to order early. And I don't... I. My order was very screwed up, so I don't have everything. I only got the stamp set and not the dies, and that was my fault. Have you have you guys ever done that? Instead of entering the bundle number, you enter the number for just the stamp set? Well, that's what I did. So there are dies, really cool dies that go with this um, right here. The big sleigh um, with a horse has a die, which is really cool. Um, and then um, there is a stamp set that goes with these. So... This was not my mistake. I did order the bundle, but they sent me a different stamp set. It was the wrong stamp set. So they're going to send me a correction for that. But this one is called Timeless Charm Bundle. That's what it looks like. These will be available to order um, for everybody. July 5th. Am I saying it right? Is that the right day? Oh, nope. July 6th. July 6th. I was thinking it was the day after the 4th of July, but it's two days after that. Um, and then there's two other things here. I think that's all there is, right? Yeah, these little cute snowflakes, adhesive back snowflake assortments, three different colors, and then a six by six pack of designer series paper. The online exclusives, um, there will be more than just this, but this is some, ooh, I like that. I haven't even looked at this. Um, but this is just some of what's coming in July. So Christmas in July, I know a lot of people like to get started. Oh, how cute. Look at that little deer. That's just very cute. Um, I know a lot of people like to get started on Christmas stuff in the summer. So um, be on the lookout for that. I will let you know when it is available. But if you do buy your starter kit this month, you can choose these things to be in your starter kit if you want. All right. Now, let me show you... Club Create. All right, so we're in a new Club Create subscription period. My Club Create is a subscription kit um, that includes five projects, about $20 in product, a video, and a PDF every month. And it's $39. You can join and you can um, stay for as long as you want, or you can cancel anytime that you want. If you stay for six months, I reward you with a $25 product credit um, to be included in your sixth kit. Uh, so this is the next kit. This is what its subscriptions are open for right now from June 8th to July 7th. This is uh, the subscription. Uh, this is the kit you would be subscribing for your first one. If you're already a subscriber, don't worry. You're already in it. You're good to go. Um, it features this Gone Fishing bundle, which I am in love with. When I saw this in the catalog, I knew I couldn't, could not wait. I've got a couple of fun fold cards for you. This is, so this will come in July. It won't ship till the end of July. Um, this, I'll be in my new house, hopefully, when I cut and ship these. Um, two cards, two fun folds, and a triangle box. So if you would like to subscribe, to Club Create, let me put this up here. Um, on my blog today at pinkbuckaroo.com, you'll find this photo right here at the bottom with a link that will take you over there. You can read all the details and you can subscribe. Um, the deadline to subscribe for that kit is July 7th. Okay, um, I think that I am ready. Hold on just one second. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. How about prizes? Prizes. Um, last week I had a bundle to give away. Let's go shopping. And by the way, this is going to be August's Club Create Kit. I have four of the five projects designed and they are adorable. This whole suite is so cute. 
Um, but anyway, the winner for this week is Sharon Kaufman. Um, Sharon, I have your mailing address. Unless it's changed, please let me know and I'll get this prize out to you next week. Um, she shared my video over on Facebook. Thank you very much for doing that. Um, if you would like to be entered to win one of my ribbon shares for next time, all you have to do is share the video on YouTube or on Facebook and make sure you comment that you shared and I will pick three winners um, and send out these ribbon shares. I have three extra ribbon shares. I'm going to give them away as prizes. Um, okay, that's that. And I think we are ready. Oh, the other thing, of course, I always need to tell you is that if you like today's Make and Takes, the three projects that we're doing, I will send them to you for free um, with a order, a minimum order of $35. You can order anything you want from the Stampin' Up! website. Um, as long as you get that order in by Monday at midnight and you use this host code, I will cut these on Tuesday and send them out on Wednesday. You will need the Hey Chuck bundle, but I will send you everything else. They come like this. There's no stamping in the kit. You've got to do all the stamping yourself, um, but I will send everything else for you um, so that you'll be able to make all three projects. This PDF is over on my blog. Um, it has the measurements and the supplies of all the projects that we're going to do today. Okay, hopefully you guys are good. We're good. I am not feeling good today, um, so please just be patient with me. Um, oh, Gail, that's interesting. She says, I've been told if you ever order the set accidentally instead of the bundle, as intended to call demo support, they'll send you a coupon to get the bundle price. Interesting. I've never heard that, Gail. Hmm, I'll have to try that. Um... Um, the fishing suite as a Facebook Friday. Nope, just during, just for Club Create, not for Facebook Friday. All right, let's get started. Let me get everything out of the way. And I'm probably going to pull my chair over today and sit down. I usually stand up, but I think today I might just need to sit down. Whew. All right, so this guy is so cute. Um, we've got four Chucks in here, and I think this guy's my favorite, but this guy we're going to use on this card is definitely my second favorite. I don't know. He's pretty close to being a favorite. All right, we're going to, you know I like to use my Stampin' Blends, so of course that's what we're going to do here. Now, I know that it's hard to see because the video is zoomed out let's see sometimes i can get it to zoom in there we go now i'm real zoomed in so hopefully i don't forget <laughs> that happens sometimes too um, but there are individual recordings of this on youtube they hopefully went live Ooh, that didn't stamp very well let's try that again has anybody checked to see if my blog post went up um it should have gone up and under each photo there will be a um, link to an individual recording. So if you ever come back and you want to watch just one of the projects, you can watch those on YouTube. Um, I edit them so they're a little cleaner, a little closer. You can see a little bit better. All right, let me turn my chair over. Hold on. So I played around with these guys and the colors a lot. Um, and I these are the, I'm going to use basically the same colors on each of them. They'll all be a little bit different. Um, I'm going to start with a color I don't use very often, which is Cajun Craze, um, light Cajun Craze. And I'm going to do light Cajun Craze all over his tail. Why does that look so dark? It looks really dark today. Um, the lid actually looks like Calypso Coral. It's funny how they look a little bit different. Um, the shades on the caps do, sometimes even the ink. All right, so I'm gonna do Cajun Craze and I'm gonna do that on his plume here. Do any of you have fancy chickens? I like fancy chickens, they're so funny. This guy, he's got a big fancy plume on the top of his head. My in-laws have had chickens for a long time but they don't, theirs aren't real fancy. 
All right, so now cherry cobbler. And can you guys see how I just kind of took it from the bottom and just kind of fanned it out? And actually, if you'll use the brush tip to kind of flash it out a little bit, flip it out, it will look a little bit better. Okay, now also take your cherry cobbler and on his little waddle right there, make that red. Get Dactyl Delight for his skinny chicken legs and his beak. All right, my iPad's way far away and I can't see your comments. Yes, um, Deb, you are right. She says Cajun craze looks similar to the new copper clay, our new um, in color. You are right. And, you know, um, they've used Cajun craze in several of our DSPs right now. And I've had to look on the packages to see if it's Cajun craze or copper clay because they look very similar. All right, now I'm going to take my crumb cake and I'm just going to kind of go inside along the edge and I'm going to give his little his little um, eyelids some color and then just take your color lifter and I don't think I put the color lifter on the supply list I'm thinking about right now and you know what somebody helped me figure this out is the color lifter in the catalog or is it only on the website? Because I have looked for it twice in the catalog and I cannot find it. <laughs> so let me know. Everybody who has their catalogs near them, see if you can find the color lifter. And then we'll, um, we'll know. If not, then you can just go to the website and type in color lifter, which is what I've done twice. Because I've used it on two different supply lists. Nicole, hi Nicole, it's in the catalog, huh? I mean, I have looked. And I can't find it. All right, so um, Jill says it's in the catalog too. Okay, well, tell me what page. <laughs> I can't find it. Now I've taken copper, I mean, um, pecan pie. I wanna show you, I saw a card online and they colored their fence different than what I would have colored it. My thoughts were the dark would be on the bottom and it would go light at the top because that's where the sunlight was. But they colored it with the dark like this at the top of each post and it gave it a real like cartoon look, which is what I am kind of going for, right? I mean, these guys are kind of cartoonish. So I tried it and I love it. It's just kind of giving that opposite, doing dark on the top and light on the bottom. I even asked my mom about it and she didn't really give me a clear answer. Um, so what page is it? Page 123. Well, you know, I just need to crowdsource whenever I have a question. Bottom right corner. Okay, thanks. Let's see. Let me pull it out. So that I know. What else? Oh, it's right here on this. Okay, so that doesn't make sense to me. Shouldn't it be over like... I didn't even look there. I looked... I was looking in you know, like this page, because they have the other blends here. Would it make more sense for it to be here? <laughs> I don't know, it makes more sense to me. All right, well, thank you guys for letting me know where it is, because we do have some things that are online only now. So I thought, well, maybe that's one of them. I'm glad we found it. I had a moment of panic thinking this didn't discontinue, did it? I knew it had it. All right, so flick, 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 that darker pecan pie, which has quickly become a favorite of mine. I was very sad when Soft Suede retired, but pecan pie is gorgeous. And I'm not sad about Soft Suede anymore. Okay. Now, let's cut these guys out. Get your cut and emboss machine. And we've got the dies, no fussy cutting needed. And um, this is one of those sets, again, where I am having to use um, post-it tape to get it just right. I mean, I guess I don't have to, but I just, I, I'm worried that it's going to slip. So just get a little bit of post-it tape and 
Stick a little piece of tape there. If you're not familiar with post-it tape, this is what it looks like. You can get it on Amazon. All right, so let's run that through. Hi, Debbie, you're not too late. We just started our first project. There's our little chuck and one of our fences. And put this one right here like this. Run it through. And then the rest of this card goes together really easily. All right, I am using two of our designer series papers that are on sale. All right, let me get all of this out of the way. And actually, yeah, no, we're gonna do this. We're, I almost forgot, I thought I had forgotten to do something, but I hadn't. Um, the papers that we're using are, this is a pecan pie card base. And this is the Glorious Gingham, so cute, and it's on sale. You can use either side. Um, where's my PDF? I had it right here. I moved it because it's in the way and now I don't have it, but it's on sale. And I have the sale price on the PDF so that you can see what the sale price is. It's a six by six stack, which is kind of nice. Thanks, Nydia, summer pink, for sure, summer pink. All right, now before we put the other one on, this is part of the Let's Go Fishing, Gone Fishing designer series paper. That's what that one's from, also on sale. We're gonna stamp our sentiment in Cherry Cobbler. Let's see if I can get it straight. I need a piece of scrap paper. I like to practice before I stamp. So I can see if it's stamping straight. Okay, might need to go up just a tiny bit on the right side. Rise and shine. And then we're gonna stamp, it's your birthday, right underneath, like that. Now, also, I am gonna use this little dotted stamp. This is from Seaside Bay. We used this a few weeks ago and it's just these little dots right here. If you don't have the stamp set, look around. I'm sure you have a stamp set that has dots somewhere. Some, you know, kind of a grunge type stamp. And stamp once, stamp twice, get different variations of your crumb cake. And then... We're gonna mat that on another piece of pecan pie. And we're gonna put this flat. I'm not using dimensionals. And the reason is, because I'm gonna take this other piece and put it down right here, flat. Oops, we gotta make sure we don't cover up the sentiment. Like that, okay? Now it feels like it's a little bit long, so let's trim that off right there. And then get your linen thread. I hope I have enough here. And I like to wrap it two or three times around, kind of crisscrossy, not perfect. Uh-oh, are we gonna have enough? Nah, I don't know. Let's see, I need to shorten it a little bit. Let's try again. Maybe we'll only do two times. One, two, three. Okay, I think we can do it. And then tie it up here. Like that. Oh, wow, it was like perfect. The perfect amount. Snip. Snip. Oh, why does it look so loose now? What? Come on now. Let's tie it tight. You know, one thing I find sometimes is that it, if I tie a knot first, get that tight, then the bow is easier to tie. 
There we go. All right, and then you can spread these out. Whoops. Oh my gosh, this is not supposed to be this difficult. There we go. See how they're just kind of crisscrossy? All right, now all we have left are these guys. So grab dimensionals. You're gonna need many dimensionals for some of these pieces. like this and because this is kind of a, like a cartoon look we don't want the fence to be perfectly straight so I'm just going to kind of make it you know kind of wonky do you guys use that word wonky I like that word wonky and we'll put that one just kind of like that and then we'll get our chuck and put him right there in the middle. And there you go. Birthday card. I think this would be great for a guy, don't you? A dude card. Even though it has a bow, I think it could qualify as a dude card for sure. All right. There we go. Now I have another card for you. Let me switch this out. And grab supplies for the next one. All right, here is our next one. And I'm going to show you how to do this funky background with your embossing folder. We're going to ink that um, it's called exposed brick back uh, embossing folder. But first, let's do our stamping so that when we bring over our big shot, not the big shot, the cut and emboss machine. Man, I haven't made that mistake in a long time. I have not made that mistake in a long time. When you bring over your cut and emboss machine, we can do all of it at the same time. Oh, we also need the little skateboard. I mean, who thought of putting a skateboard with these? They're so cute. Hilarious. This would be a great kid card. All right, now I'm gonna do something a little bit different this time um, with his tail. I'm gonna use Daffodil Delight here on the ends, like that. And then I'm gonna take um, Light Pumpkin Pie and I'm gonna go over it like that. And then I'm going to take Cajun Craze Light and blend out from here. So we're kind of going from light to dark. And then I'm going to go back with my Daffodil Delight and just kind of go over all of that to blend all that together. And then I'm going to get my Cherry Cobbler and just put in a little bit of Cherry Cobbler there. Maybe a little bit more. All right. All right, now his little plume up here, we're gonna just do all cherry cobbler. I haven't used cherry cobbler in a while either, but it's a good, kind of a barn red. He's got his little waddle right there. And his tongue. Like that. And we'll use Daffodil Delight for his beak. And his little skinny chicken legs. And then I'm going to go back to Cajun Craze and do his neck. Cajun Craze light looks kind of a, like a rusty brown. Like um, we said earlier, very similar to copper. A copper clay color. And again, I'm going to take my crumb cake and just add in some color like this around the edges. And use my color lifter that we now know is on page 123 of the catalog and blend all that together. And then I'm going to color his skateboard, Cherry Cobbler. Oh, Lisa Highland Cow Set would be super cute. Thanks, Elizabeth. 
All right, so now let's cut these out with our dies. And sometimes I have a hard time telling which die is which for these sets because they're all funny shaped. Should I try it without the tape? I think I'm going to. Okay. Um, now, you're going to need to cut out some other things. A Daffodil Delight Sun, which is also in this die set. I'll show you in just a sec. Yep, we did good. Okay, there we go. And so this, this die, which is in our little set right here. Um, and then you're going to need a basic white stylus shape banner and you're gonna need a vellum circle about two and a half two and three eighths we've got a two and three eighths punch that will punch that right on out all right now for our embossed background i'm going to take off all the plates except for one and i'm going to take pebbled path now Pebbled Path is a new color, an in color, that is kind of a cool color. I don't, I don't know. I really, I of course I like neutrals, but this is kind of a brownie gray stone. I keep thinking it's stone something, but it's Pebbled Path. And I'm gonna ink up my embossing folder, the side that has the Stampin' Up logo, okay? See that? And then I'm gonna take my piece and just set it in there. Grab my plate four and run it through. Now, you might be cringing and say, oh my gosh, I cannot believe you're doing that to your embossing folder. But don't worry, it rinses off, no problem. I just will take it to the sink after this and rinse it off. And see, it really gives you more of a, um, you know, a, the embossed image is more distinct, if you will. All right, this embossing folder is great. All right, now let's stamp our sentiment. I've got Misty Moonlight. You could use Night of Navy as well. We're gonna stamp this, hopefully I can get it straight. You've got something to crow about. On the right side of my little stitched banner, sorry, it was out of the screen. I forget I'm zoomed in. All right, let's put that there. We've got our Pebbled Path card base. And we're gonna put our distressed, our background paper. Let's see, I think I like this better. Um, just a word of caution that you might get ink on your fingers from the embossing folder when you do that. So be careful that you don't then transfer the ink over onto your project because that's very frustrating. Um, now, this is a new paper. This is our white core cardstock. And what that means is that inside it's white. So when you tear it, you're going to get a white edge, which is so very cool. You've, you may have seen this kind of paper before, um, but I think this is the first time we've had it, maybe. And I'm going to adhere that right across the bottom. And then I've just got a strip of Night of Navy designer series paper from the neutrals stack. And we'll take our dimensionals and we'll put Chuck with a dimensional onto our vellum circle. And then we'll put a dimensional behind there so you're hiding it, you can't see it, and put him right there. Get the little skateboard and you're gonna need the many dimensionals for the skateboard. Okay, if you've got a child in your life who skateboards, now you've got a really cool skateboard um, stamp. Let's see if I can turn him a little bit. There we go. Now I'm gonna take my scissors and just cut this straight over here. Grab my dimensionals. Put 
put that right there. Nope, we gotta go down a little bit lower because we've gotta leave room for our sun. And it's gonna tuck in right there. And there you have it. Oh, you know what, the other thing that I did, oh, there's two other things that I did on the inside. You've got a piece of um, basic white to go on the inside. So just take the skateboard and stamp it. And then it, you can color it real quickly. Cherry cobbler, smoky slate. And I like to put a little ground line under those tires, those wheels. And then take your smoky slate and just kind of flick some ink there, just to kind of give you some interest on the end side of your card. You could stamp one of the other chickens if you wanted, but there you go. No embellishments, but I don't really think it needs it. Another good dude card, don't you think? I think that would be great for a guy. All right, one more uh, project, and this one is a 3D project today. And here they are right here. We're gonna make these Chicka Stick holders. Have you guys had Chicka Stick? It's like one of those cheapy candies, but it tastes so good. It's peanut butter. Peanut butter is my favorite. Crunchy peanut butter rolled in toasted coconut. Oh, it doesn't taste coconutty to me, but it's delicious. I got these at um, Five Below, but you can also, I mean, you can get them a lot of places. I think Cracker Barrel has these, but I linked it on Amazon in case you want to order some. Uh, you don't want to go anywhere. They're on Amazon too. All right, so a little holder. Let's make our holder first. Now I've zoomed in real far, so hopefully you guys will be able to see what I'm doing. All right, where's my Simply Scored? Right here. You're gonna need a piece of Daffodil Delight that is four and a half by eight and a half. I'm just making sure that I'm in the screen. Let me come up a little bit like that. All right, on the short side, you're gonna score it at one, two, three and four, and then score it at one and a half and at seven and a half. Now come back up here and make a mark on these two rectangles in the middle. So right at three and a half and right at one and a half. Now grab either your, you can use your stylus from your Simply Scored, or you can use your Take Your Pick tool or even your bone folder and we're gonna score a line from the bottom corner up to that, that tick mark that you made in the middle, okay? This is gonna give us some score lines to help pinch in those sides. All right, now, before we do anything else, let's put the designer series paper on there. And this is some of our sale paper too, you'll notice this is the Le Shops DSP. And these, you'll need four strips. This, they're seven eighths by five and seven eighths. Or any Daffodil Delight designer series paper would work as well. Okay, and we're just gonna adhere these into these little one inch sections. like that and now we'll take our bone folder and you want to burnish all these lines real well like that now remember these that we made the, these diagonals take your finger and just kind of pinch them and you want to I kind of like to make them go both ways so they're very pliable All right, now you have this, this is the one and a half inch section, that's the top. All you're gonna cut off is this little corner right here. 
this little rectangle corner right here. All right, and then you're just gonna cut these apart. Like that. All right, let me grab my tear and tape. Hold on just a sec, I had it over here. Take, now leave this up here. I know that seems weird, but you want to leave that. Run your tear and tape across. And then just fold it in half and then fold the other side over. And you've got your little tube here. And these little um, score lines that you made, they're gonna pinch real easily. You're gonna let you pinch that closed. So let's close this up. Your rough edge where you folded it, right here is your back. So I like to do sides first, then the back, and then the front. I think I just heard my daughter pull up. No, maybe not. All right, fold those up. And then you could put your little chicka stick in here. And we're gonna just use a regular hole punch, which I was using over here as well. Did I not put this back? Let me see if I can find it, hold on. Oh no, it is on the tray. I did remember. Just a regular size hole punch. On the front and the back. Okay. And then I'm using um, the, let's see, bordered ribbon, pecan pie bordered ribbon. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Zoe. Good to see all of you. Zoe, thanks for your order. I'm mailing your box this afternoon. You guys, by the way, I do still have mystery boxes left. If you want a mystery box full of retired product, let me know. They're free with any order over $125. And I'd really like to give them away and not move them. I've got about... I don't know, five left. So if you would like a mystery box with your order, please let me know. Okay, now tie this together. Cute ribbon, this ribbon's real cute and it's very soft, it ties really well. Man, you know, you know, my girls are home for the summer, and so the dogs, well, I take that back. Pepper has, I've barely seen her. She's upstairs with the girls, snuggling all day, every day. She thinks she's died and gone to heaven. But weirdly enough, Mac, my old dude, he's been acting very strange. He's hiding. He's, I found, I found him in my closet several times. He's, when I'm in here, he's, right under my feet, which is not normal for him. I don't know what's going on with him. Uh, he seems, he's eating and everything, so I don't know, but he's just been very, very clingy. And then hiding. And hiding is usually not a good sign, right? All right, now this is the chubby chuck. <laughs> Our chubby um, chicken. You know, Gail, I, Thought about that too, sensing the move, yeah. Um, we also were out of town last weekend, but when I came when we came home, he was acting weird. But um we've left him before with no problem. So I don't know what it is. It could be everything, the move. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully it's nothing terrible. Okay, this time I think we'll just do pumpkin pie and cherry cobbler. And I think I'm gonna do the plume on the top of his head. No, no, his neck. I did his neck like this this time. Mac is 13 and a half. He is an old, an old guy. And he, my daughter calls him Queen Elizabeth because nothing can bring him down. He's very, um, he's had a lot of health things and just never, like, he defies all odds, basically. 
And so we think he's gonna live for a long time. All right, I don't like the way that looks, so I'm gonna take my Daffodil Delight and add, kind of blend them all together with a Daffodil Delight. There we go, that is better. Okay, I'm gonna add in some her, they have, they have eyelids, which is funny. That's the light. Yep, I, Jen, I have three schnauzers, actually. Um, yeah, you know, the house has been, we haven't really packed up a lot in the last few weeks. There hasn't been a big change in the last few weeks, which makes me, who knows? Who knows? I mean, they've got to know. We've been taking them to the other house to, to check it out, you know, run around. And they seem to, to like it. I mean, <laughs> they didn't tell me that, but they like to run around and bark at things. So that, that's like their jam is to run around and bark at things. And they seem happy enough to do it over there. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, there's our little chubby chuck. And I'm going to stamp that you rule the roost right on the bottom because we're just going to cut that out as a strip. Okay, so now, bringing over the cut and emboss machine. Let's see, I can move all these out of the way. Um, I have cut out, again, pecan pie, um, the two largest stylish shape circles. And we're gonna use the, uh, let's, cut, let's cut chubby chucker, chubby chuck <laughs> out first. And then I'm gonna use the dots and spots die to add some holes to our smaller circle. We are gonna we are gonna be doing some major packing tomorrow. We were supposed to have a basketball tournament all weekend, and now it's been moved to Sunday only, which is good because I was starting to feel a little panicky. I mean, we have packed a lot of stuff, you guys, but now we're down to. Like, I think it's time for me to pack up more of the kitchen. Like, you know, and just keep the, the this bare necessities. They We were supposed to close on the 20th. And now they're like, well, we think it's going to be closer to the end of the month. So I'm not going to pack up my studio until I have to. So that means probably next week we will have Facebook Friday. All right? So... Unless something changes, I'm planning on doing Facebook Friday next week. I thought that by next Friday we would be packed and really like shutting things down here. But I think we don't know, Vicky. Um, they're sell they won't they won't give us a firm date for closing. The house is pretty ready, you know, it's just all the little things now in the yard. Um this is pecan pie ink and a blending brush, and I'm just gonna add color to this pecan pie circle to just give it a little more variation. Well, that, the house looks amazing. They've turned on the air conditioning. They've cleaned it on the inside, which makes it feel move-in ready, those two things. But there are some things. There are lots of th little things, you know? like the trim on top of the cabinets. Um, the shower glass isn't in. Um, the soffit lights on the outside, they haven't done those. It's weird, it's like, it, you know what I have found with building this house is, you know, they have different trades that come out. The electricians, the plumbers, the drywall guy, the painter, they all come out and they do their job except for like one thing and they leave. So all, every single job is never quite done. And I'm like, don't you guys wanna just get it done so you don't have to come back out here? <laughs> I don't get it. They don't, they don't work very efficiently because our house is pretty far out. You know, like get it done. Like, I can't remember there was, oh, the electricians came out one day and put in every single Every single light fixture, every single plug, every single switch, every single fan, everything except for one fan was missing. And that's been a month. 
<laughs> I'm like, couldn't you just finish that? I mean, maybe they didn't have it. I don't know, but they have to come back out to install one fan. It's just weird stuff like that. All right, this little weather vane is super cute. I've cut it out with um, from silver foil. We're excited too, Gail. We're excited. Um, the my youngest has been has had the hardest time because her best friend lives next door, but she's very excited now. Now that she can, you know, see, like really see how things are going, and um, now she's trying to convince us we need a. Um, we need a uh, golf cart because it's it's a neighborhood with lots of the property is big, not huge, but big. And a lot of people have their golf carts. They drive down to the mailbox. And so now she's banging that drum. We need a golf cart. We need a golf cart. We need a golf cart. I told her she's she'll be 15 in November. I said, if we get a golf cart, then I will have no money to spend on a car for you. And she, that gave her pause. But then she was like, well, we can just sell it when I turn 60. I'm like, no, that's not how this works. It's not these third. How many of you have three? The third one, they know how to, they know how to work the system. And she's working it. She definitely is working it. She thinks if she, she beats that drum long enough, we'll say yes. But she's not going to win this one because golf carts are expensive. <laughs> All right. And there you have it. There you have it. Super cute, fun little little project. You rule the roost. I mean, you could really use that for anything. All right, let me see what your comments are. Um, let's see, Mary, I'm sure you know this, but before you physically move, bring their beds, toys, bowls. Yeah, you know, the thing I'm the most worried about, Mary, is the day or days that we actually do move. You know, where the doors are open and the movers are in and out. Like, what do we do with them those days? The dogs. Um, yeah, Karen, the house is four and a half miles away. It's more out in the country from where we're at, a little bit. And it has, we have more property. So we have more space. Um, three bathroom remodels, Gail, at one time. Oh, if you call the first jobs rough plumbing, electrical, and all that come back at the end. Really? That just seems dumb. It seems inefficient. Built our own house 18 years ago and there's still loose ends. Oh my gosh, Susan, do not tell me that. Oh, your husband was a general contractor. <laughs> okay, that explains things. That's too funny. Punch list. Yeah, I know, Tony. I've heard those words many times the last few weeks. My husband is also in construction. He is not involved in the construction of this house, um, but he uses all these, you know, he gets irritated with me when I was complaining that the 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 uh, construction site was disgusting for several months. I mean, just gross, filthy. And I kept complaining about it. And, and he would get mad at me like, oh, it's just a construction site. It's supposed to be this. I'm like, mm, I don't know. Uh, yeah, Carla, you get it. The, that third kid, I know. They are special. <laughs> Very special. Funny, funny, funny. And uh, she has, my mom calls her dripping water because she doesn't give up when she wants something. She does not give up. She drips, drips, drips until she figures out a way <laughs> to convince us to get what she wants. Okay, you guys, we're done. If you would like these three make and takes, um, all you have to do is put in an order by Monday at midnight um, using this host code. Oh, you can't see it. Let's see if I can zoom out. First try. Nope, nope. Come on. Let's see. There we go. Um, this host code, it's also on the PDF today and well, everything's off kilter now. Um, I lost the PDF. I would just pull the PDF up here, but I don't know what I did with it. Um, I posted a card yesterday. Hopefully you guys saw it. If you need another, um, is last managed to get her <laughs> Gail. I you know I've thought about that. If there was a fourth, how that would play out. Yeah. I mean, Mom and Dad get tired. I get tired, I know. Um, this was yesterday's card. If you want the details on that card, just hop back a, a post on my blog. And then this is Monday's card. Um, again, using that glorious gingham. And this um, like notebook paper um, is from the Something Eclectic Designer Series paper pack, which I love. 
Um, see how I put two suns together to make one big round sun? All right, that's it. You guys have a great weekend. Um, I will keep you updated next week about Facebook Friday. And um, I think we'll be good next week. I think. We'll see. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for joining me. Bye.